As we gather here today, we acknowledge the land we are meeting on is the traditional territory of many nations, including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishinaabeg, the Chippewa, the Haudenosaunee, and the Wendat peoples, and is now home to many diverse First Nations, Inuit, and Métis peoples. We also acknowledge that Toronto is covered by Treaty 13 with the Mississaugas of the Credit. Hey everyone, salut tout le monde. I'm really happy to be part of the 21st Actra Awards. Tonight we celebrate the outstanding contributions you're making to Canada's film, radio, television and digital media industries. Et, et 80 ans pour Actra Toronto, ben c'est pas rien, c'est 8 décennies à être là pour, pour les artistes de chez nous. And the 15,000 professional performers represented by Actra Toronto are part of why we're one of the leading destinations for film and television in the world. Your work is putting Canadian culture on the map by sharing our stories, perspectives, and voices with the world. Thank you for everything you do for our culture. Congratulations. Have a wonderful evening. Bonne soirée tout le monde. Welcome to the 21st Annual Actor Awards. For over two decades, Actor of Toronto has recognized performance excellence in film, television, digital media, and animation. These industries make such a significant contribution to Ontario's economy, and they are expanding rapidly. That's why our government is proud to support them through skills development and training, tax credits, funding, and grants. These investments are attracting more projects to Ontario, creating good paying jobs and careers, and developing talent and boosting local economies across our province. But none of this could be possible without the people behind these outstanding artistic achievements. Year after year, you continue to inspire, challenge, and entertain us. So thanks to all of the accomplished performers here today for the skill and dedication that you bring to your profession. A big congratulations to today's winners. Thank you. Good evening. I'm Deputy Mayor Jennifer McKelvey, offering my congratulations to this year's ACTRA Award nominees and recipients. Toronto is proud to be home to such incredible talent, both in front of and behind the camera. As one of North America's most popular film cities, it is no surprise that Toronto has fostered such a thriving entertainment industry. Here, productions have access to homegrown talent in acting, cinematography, sound, lighting, and post-production. This makes Toronto a one-stop shop for film and television. This year, ACTRA is celebrating 80 years as a national union. For eight decades now, ACTRA has aided in the production of countless films, TV shows, and radio shows that help to showcase Canadian culture. That's eight decades of creating jobs in the entertainment industry, eight decades of helping to grow our economy, and eight decades of highlighting and promoting Canadian culture. In 2022, Ontario had a record-breaking year in film and television production, and I hope to see that record broken again soon. So once again, I'd like to congratulate ACTRA for their 80 years of service to entertainment workers and all of tonight's nominees and recipients. Thank you. Please welcome to the stage our host, ACTRA Toronto President David Gale. Hello, Actra Toronto! Good afternoon, Actra Toronto and guests and sponsors. My name is David Gale, as you heard, and my pronouns are he, him, and I am the first out, queer, never married Actra Toronto president Wait, wait, wait. In the 80-year history of ACTRA. ACTRA Toronto president with Parkinson's disease in the 80-year history of ACTRA Toronto. I know what you're thinking. He's single? Well, now that I've come out for the second time, Please don't worry about my Parkinson's disease, or PD as we like to call it. I'm doing okay. I have a great support team 
I do, I do. A great support team here at ACTRA, at the University Health Network, by my friends and family, and mostly my PD makes me dance when I'm at the podium. <laughs> so, dance with me if you like. Thank you. At Actor Toronto, we always begin our events with an agreement on how we will behave respectfully with each other. So here goes. Actor activities are discrimination and harassment-free zones, where mutual respect, cooperation, and understanding are our shared beliefs. Discriminatory speech based on conduct, gender, gender identity, sexual orientation, race, disability, age, class, religion, ethnic origin, membership or work category, or family status hurts and divides us. Please make this event a safe and enjoyable time for everyone. <laughs> oh my goodness. This place is so beautiful. And, and you are all so beautiful. It's, uh, it really is a Palais Royale. And from my dressing room, I can see Niagara Falls. So thank you all for being here in person. These are the first live ACTRA awards in Toronto since 2020. You know, actually, uh, my first two years uh, being president uh, was on Zoom in my home office. And so, if you don't recognize me, I was on mute. And that was my mime version of my... <laughs> but you know who's not on mute? This year's nominees, thank goodness. Let's hear it for this year's nominees. If you're a nominee, raise your hands, nominees. I can see you. Yay. And all you special award winners, you know you are too. We'll be, we'll be talking to you in a second. So congrats, and remember, it's an honor to be nominated. And it's fucking awesome to win. But. <laughs> So today we're here to honor you, the incredible members of ACTRA Toronto. While we know that this year's event isn't as big as past award gatherings, but we're still celebrating the work, your achievements, and most importantly, your solidarity. To learn more about getting involved in what's happening at ACTRA Toronto, don't hesitate to ask one of the exec members or counselors that are here today. So if you're an exec member or counselor, raise your hands. Oh. If, if you got one of those at your table, don't, don't hesitate to ask them what's going on. They like, to, they like to be asked. You know, we have a lot to celebrate here this year. 2023 marks the 80th anniversary of ACTRA and our solidarity as a national union. And we have come a long way since earning a dollar a holler. Yeah. Although there are those who want us to go back to a dollar a holler. Exactly, exactly. We'll get into that in a bit too. So congratulations also to our 2020 Sandy Ross Award winners, uh, Amanda Paris and Jesse Griffiths Casting. I, I, yes. And thank you for your commitment to inclusion on the screen. And we're thrilled that Jesse Griffiths is in the house. Where are you, Jesse? A huge shout out also to our past president and longtime president of ACTRA National, Fern Downey, on being named 2023 National Woman of the Year by ACTRA. So Fern's accomplishment, unfortunately, she couldn't be here. You know, COVID is not over. Um, uh, her accomplishments are actually too, too many to state right now, although she did help bring the Actor Awards back from the, uh, from the dust. Um, so she is a total inspiration and a true activist. And let's hear it for, well, 
the 2023 Canadian Screen Award winners with us here today, including the cast and producers from Brother, <laughs> The Porter, Pretty Hard Cases, Revenge of the Black Best Friend, Sort of, and Tokens. And a special shout out to Actra Toronto members Tr Trisha Black and Sed Nafiati for their performance wins, and to John Stead for being part of the winning Best Stun Coordination Team. Congratulations to you all. I invite you all, all Actra Toronto members here today, to become activists. An activist is what Wendy Crewson is. She makes it look so good. And we encourage you to stay involved with your union. Please keep an eye on our website, our recently revamped Performers Magazine site, Actor Toronto eBlasts, and our social media channels for updates. If you are not receiving emails from Actor Toronto, it means that somehow you've turned it off, so call us and we'll, we'll make it work for you. We have the most inclusive Actra Toronto Council in the history of our union. That says so much. Two-thirds are women. Two-thirds. When I, when I first got elected to, to uh, Actra Toronto, there was a push to try and get women to come and sit on the executive board. Things have changed. We're working together to make certain that every 12-year-old kid who wants to be a professional performer, be they queer or BIPOC or in a wheelchair or all three, can have a workable career free from discrimination ableism, homophobia, or transphobia, which is spreading like a disease across North America. You can have a career right here in Ontario, because we are ACTRA. Thank you. And now for the first award, the ACTRA Toronto Stunt Ensemble. Here are the nominees. Stunt Ensemble Award. The Handmaid's Tale, Safe. Mayor of Kingstown, This Piece of My Soul. Titans, Brother Blood. Titans, Lex Luthor. What We Do in the Shadows, The Night Market. And the Actra Award goes to What We Do in the Shadows, The Night Market. Accepting on behalf of the Stunt Ensemble, what we do in the shadows, Cheek Bomb! Uh, okay, that's a surprise. Um, I'd like to accept this on behalf of myself, my lovely and talented co-stunt coordinator, J.F. LaChapelle, who could not be here with us, uh, and of course for the rest of the lovely and talented stunt team uh, that uh, worked on this sequence. I think I can safely speak for all of us when I say that uh, we count ourselves very fortunate to do uh, something that we all love, but never has it been more fun than to create and perform action for this wonderful little show. Thank you so much. And now, a word from our generous sponsors. <laughs>
the award for outstanding performance gender non-conforming or female voice here are the nominees outstanding performance gender non-conforming or female voice AJ Bridell my little pony make your mark Ellen Dubin dance me to the end Anna Sani my little pony make your mark Bahia Watson my little pony make your mark Louisa Zhu Transformers Bot Bots And the Actor Award goes to Baya Watson! Oh yes, of course, I thought you said weep over, which is when you like cry over not having any lunch, like me, which is why I thought of it just now. I'm really hungry. <sighs> Bahia could not be here today in person to accept the award, but she has asked us to share this video with you. Ah! Thank you, thank you, thank you! <laughs> Thank you so, so much for this incredible honor. I'm so grateful um, and I'm truly honored. Um, I would like to thank Atra for, for this uh, recognition. I would like to thank um, the whole team behind My Little Pony, Make Your Mark. Uh, Everyone, all the animators and producers, our amazing director, Allison Court, uh, my fellow Pony castmates, um, and all the other nominees, and everyone for just overall being amazing. Um, thank you so much. I, I really, really love playing Missy Bright Dawn. Um, the, the writers, also the writers, they, they have taken such care in creating such a nuanced and um, special and interesting little unicorn character that is the, the unicorn of my dreams. She's exactly who I'd want to be when I grow up, when I was a little girl playing with My Little Ponies. Although, I think that My Little Pony was named Cascade as a child. But, Misty Bright Dawn, uh, what, what, a, what a girl, and uh, I, I'm just, I, I love bringing her to life, um, she motivates me, she inspires me, she warms my heart, she makes me laugh, um, so it's, it's really a, a true honor uh, to be um, honored in this way, <laughs> thank you, thank you so so much, and I'm, I'm sorry that I can't be there to cheers with everyone, but cheers, cheers, cheers. You're all amazing. You're doing amazing, and I love you all. Thank you so much. That was fantastic. All right, and now, on with the awards. Now for the Outstanding Performance Gender Nonconforming or Male Voice. Outstanding Performance gender non-conforming or male voice. Josh Crudis, Doomlands. Corey Doran, Superwish. Jeremy Harris, Big Blue. Billy McClellan, Each Man's Son. Ivan Sherry, Saving Me. And the Actor Award goes to Billy McClellan! Alan shivered as he sat down and picked up the bread. It was stale and there were little marks of mold at the corners. But before he could touch it, the old woman cackled at him. Say your grace before you put that food into your mouth or it will poison you. When we parked, uh, when we parked across the highway and we get out in that little dirt parking lot, I was, I was reminded, I, I grew up on a dirt road in Cape Breton until I was uh, 18, it's still a dirt road, and uh, it, it's such magic for me to be here with you guys, like, I, it's not lost on me. Um, like, uh, John Stead was standing over there with a bunch of stunt guys earlier on, and I shook their hands, and uh, 
for a kid from Cape Breton just to get to shake their hands with some stunt dudes, that's really cool for me, you know? Like, that's super cool. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to thank Actra um, for everything you do, including uh, protecting uh, me from me. I would, uh, I would have did this for free. Um, uh, so thank you for doing that. And uh, I'd like to thank uh, my girlfriend, Jana, who's here. I'd like to thank uh, my pals, Trenna and Alden. I would like to thank um, Paul Smith, my voice agent, who really had to uh, massage this project in order to even just make it happen, like just to just make it happen. And uh, I'd like to thank Eric Solarski, our sound engineer, and uh, uh, Alexandra Trinka, who is the director and the producer from McGill Queens University Press, and um, uh, the Government of Canada for their funding of the project. I'm, I'm so uh, grateful um, and uh, grateful to be here with you guys. Thank you again. Please welcome to the stage past Actra Award of Excellence recipient, Wendy Crewson. On the dark shores of a cold and stormy Sudbury Lake, Angelica chained a cement block to my ankle. She watched passively as it was tossed into the icy depths, dragging me along a splintering dock, screaming to my certain death. And I have loved her ever since. For as any actor knows, a stunt coordinator can make the day great, or they can make it not so great. Angelica Liskan always makes it spectacular. Her stunning rise to become the first black female stunt coordinator in this country has not been easy. But neither is it unexpected. She is a warrior. She is a slayer of the colonial patriarchy. I have seen her with enormous skill and grace, with fearless open-heartedness, speak truth to power. Her directness inspires vast confidence. Her resume is now hundreds of credits long as an actor, a stunt performer, a stunt driver, a stunt coordinator, and now as a director. Angelica has conquered the most entrenched vestiges of a lily-white male-dominated field. <laughs> and despite this busy, thriving career, she has always found time to lift her community. She has been a force of good for ACTRA as a counselor and a committee leader, bringing countless changes and opportunities for our diverse members. She has been an amazing mentor, supporting, teaching, celebrating a whole new generation of young stunt performers, not just in our union, but also in partnership with Mary J. Blige and Diamonds in the Raw. Angelica has shown up for IPA negotiations, articulate and gracious, making huge gains for the stunt community. She advocated and won category recognition for stunt performers at the Screen Awards, which, of course, she then goes on to win. <laughs> Why not? Angelica is a bridge builder, an advocate, an activist, a role model, an inspiration. She is an unstoppable force of nature. So buckle your seat belts, folks. And let's take a look at some of her kick-ass work. Oh, hi there. Ange? Sure, I'd love to say a few things about Ange. Just give me a moment. Throughout your career, you have never let anyone or anything get into your way. You have never lost track of your goals and of your dreams, but the best part is that you've always done it respectfully and graciously. You are a Renaissance woman, you are a groundbreaker, you are a force of nature. I just want to say 
were the first female black stunt coordinator in Canada, you were paving the way for future generations of women and women of color in the industry and how important that is to us. And you have to promise to oh, yeah. run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Soon as I'm gonna cut you. I'm in awe of where you've gotten in your career. Remember this? Amazing how far you've come since this prison sequence. He came out to Six Nations and he did some stunt driving and from then the rest is history. Having you on Clarice was such a blessing and an honor and then working with you again on Stellar. I'll happily work with you on anything and everything forever. Having sat on committees, councils, negotiating teams with Angelica, I can tell you that she's relentless when it comes to the rights and welfare of all performers. Whether she's mentoring young stunt performers or giving up her time to lobby on Parliament Hill for protections for performers or tax credits for the industry. Um, she really takes that drive and focus and skill that she brings to stunt coordination, to her advocacy, fighting to ensure that stunt performers' voices were heard. <laughs> The car, go! Anytime I ever feel blue or down, somehow like a moth to a flame, my phone dings or rings. And it's always you reminding me of how awesome I am and how awesome I could be. You know, you've done so much for the stunt community, the BIPOC community, lending a very strong voice. And uh, you know, you're just, wow. I'll forever be so thankful for you taking me under your wing and mentoring me as beyond just a performer. And everything you've done in this, for this entire community, we're so thankful. You were one of the first stunt coordinators who gave me a chance in this community. So if it wasn't for you, I would definitely not be where I am today. <laughs> All right, enough. Don't stop. Of all the people I've had the pleasure to work with and for, you're a true stand-up. Your path wasn't easy, but with many years of hard work and perseverance, you broke through many barriers to achieve your goals. She is so strong and talented and hilarious, and it was clear that everyone absolutely adored her. And now I count myself among those people because not only is she all of those things, but she's also so kind and welcoming and supportive. She commands the set and she's fantastic at what she's doing and the, her di directing now, second unit stuff is amazing. I'm just extremely proud of her. Shit. No, please. You keep everybody safe, you raise the bar, you make everything more cinematic. You've taught me so much, you've inspired me, and you hit so many milestones that no one has hit before. I thank you for your words of wisdom and just um, being who you are. She really helps any people that are in need of being pushed forward that have the skills but don't have the ability to push themselves to the next level. She's always been there. If she sees something in you, she'll take it and she'll let you run with it and she'll show you and guide you and she'll push you out when you're ready. You're such a role model in the community. 
We're all so proud of your accomplishment. I've always thought she was this very strong woman and I always, like think to myself, I want to be just like her. And you're receiving this award because of your hard work, your professionalism, and your contribution to our industry. I admire you more than I did 20 years ago when I first started. And you, and I, you deserve all the greatness and all the awards. And this is just the first of many more to come. You always bring your A game. You are incredibly talented. So good at everything you do and an amazing storyteller. And I'm so happy that you're being recognized today. For so long, that we never thought we would even be considered for something like this as women, as BIPOC. And, uh, and now you've got this award and it gives so much of us. It gives us peace, it gives us strength, it gives us happiness. This is something for all of us. It is my honor to present the 2023 ACRA Award of Excellence to Angelica Lisk Khan. <laughs> had a really funny joke to tell, but I don't think it's appropriate now after all that, so uh, <clears throat> I was going to joke about, I know my, as soon as I'm finished talking, you guys are going to get your entree and you all look really famished, so I'm going to make it brief. Um, wow. Okay. <sighs> to be receiving this incredible honor from our queen, Wendy Crewson, it's one of the most humbling and beautiful things that could have ever happened to me. Wendy, you are such an incredible actor, mentor, and friend, and we're all very lucky to have you in our film community, but also in ACTRA governance, so thank you so much. <laughs> <sighs> Receiving an award like this doesn't require you to be of any age, race, or gender, or political affiliation, right? You just need to love what you do. And you want to see others do well. You want to find a way to help them as well. With that being said, I feel like I've already won before I even got up here, is being able to make a living doing what you love. It's truly a gift. It's a gift. We're all very lucky to be here and to be doing what we're doing. So you should all take a round of applause for yourselves, actually, too. <clears throat> to my ACTRA family, thank you for this incredible honor. I would like to personally thank a few of my ACTRA family of collaborators over the years who I sat on council with, did workshops, planned and hosted events, lobbied in parliament, helped pass bills protecting child actors, negotiated IPAs, shot content to lobby for the arts, spoke at numerous events promoting our members to the US, helped created language around protecting diverse members, and who could forget our epic stunt Christmas parties. Oh, I guess you've never been. Okay, well, we're gonna fire them back up because we've got an amazing new stunt committee and a lot of people from that committee are here. If you're on the stunt committee, the new stunt committee, could you guys stand up please? Just stand up so people can see who you are. Come on, Dilly, get up there, Jigurski. Thanks guys for stepping up, and uh, we look for good things to come from you all. Um, back to ACTRA, I'd like to first and foremost thank our incredible president, David Gill. Yeah? yeah. yeah. He was always moved with such class and grace. Thank you for being a great leader and also a great friend. Teresa Tova, David Sparrow, Stephen Waddell, 
Carl Pruner, Heather Allen, Sue Milling, Tabby Johnson, Maria Del Mar, Rebecca Applebaum, Richard Young, Eleanor Noble, Fern Downey, Catherine Disher, Jennifer McGibbon, Lisa Cornelius, and Art Hindle, the king himself, who is also an incredible golfer. I didn't know if you know that. He's a really good golfer. Um, he'd always give me the tickets to go golf for the, uh, the um, AFC, and I appreciated that. Um, also, thank you to the amazing staff at ACTRA for all of your support over the years and all the business reps. Now to my stunt family. Thank you to Bronco Rocky, who you saw, for pushing me into the stunt world, and to Matt Berman, Marco Bianco, and Steve Shackleton for always supporting me, and I always knew I could phone a friend whenever I needed to. <laughs> Big thanks to Shelly Cook and Allison Reed for paving the way for all the female stunt coordinators who came after. And thank you to Tani Cardwell, who's been so many things to me over the years. Without her, our community wouldn't be as strong, so thank you for all you do for us. Yeah. I'd also like to thank all of the uber-talented stunt performers and actors that have made me look so good over the years. I really didn't do much, they did everything. I just put a mat, honestly. Everybody was just so good, especially you. Did you see Wendy getting pulled into the, yeah, we'll talk about that later. Whew. Um, to my producer family, once I started directing Second Unit with a few productions, I saw another side of things and felt the need to see if I could help develop some new blood with the kind of system that I used to approach the way I coordinated and collaborated with productions. I can say that this wouldn't have been possible without the help and support of so many productions along the way who understood what I was trying to do and not only supported, but put their money where their mouths were. And in that, I was able to get my mentees paid for learning. Huh? Because, you know, investing in the future saves us all. This initiative wouldn't have been possible without the support from Chris Augustin, Craig Siebels, Ben Watkins, Paula Devonshire, Justin Kelly, he was the guy in the shower. Yeah, he's amazing. Um, Howard Gordon, Matt Code, Frank Syracuse, John Weber, Allison Richards, Lauren Grant, Miles Milne, Clement Virgo, Damon D'Oliveira, Dan Beckerman, and Sonia Jakovitz. I would also like to thank my agent, Phil Flagler, and the team at AMI, who I've literally made zero dollars for for the last four years, but he still keeps me. <laughs> he still keeps me on the roster, and he still invites me to golf. It's golf is a theme. Um, lastly, to my actual family. Cue mom crying. Could you stand up, please, Ann Lisk? So I was told when I got up here to keep it classy, and when I asked my mom to stand, I heard her look over to Mary Evan and go, oh shit. Uh, my mom should be getting an award for having the guts to fall in love with an American professional football player back in 1969. Thanks for taking that chance, or I wouldn't have been up here right now accepting this award. Also for constantly telling me I could do whatever I wanted to do with my life. And I believed you, and that's why I'm here. Thank you to my half-siblings and extended Williams family in the States. Finding you has been such a high point in my life, and I'm so grateful. Thank you to my husband's family, the Hands. My father-in-law, Norm Han, is here as well. Thank you for your support over the last 25 years. It means the world to me. Thank you to the incredible Mary of Beckers, who is basically just all over my stunt reel. Thank you for jumping into this mentoring program with both feet and no fear. I can't wait to see what you can accomplish moving forward. I adore you, and I think the world of you. Thank you to my work partner, Daniel Levine, for all of your hard work and dedication to our mentoring group as a whole, and just for being such a great friend, shrink, cheerleader, and you are 100% the future of stunt coordinators. Oh yeah. I, I think Dan just actually said, oh shit, as well. There you go. He said, don't embarrass me. Last but not least, thank you to my handsome husband, Chris. Santa. <laughs> <Sam. laughs> 
Thank you to my handsome husband, Chris, for keeping this train on the tracks and for your understanding, patience, and unconditional love. It was our anniversary on the 24th of uh, April, so we've been married for 13 years and together for 25. Wow. Right? Could you imagine having to put up with me for 25 years? It's crazy. He needs an award. Somebody will give him an award later, maybe. There's been a surge of diversity in every corner of the world these days, and it's not because any one group is just letting it happen. It's because more and more people are seeing representation in the current fields of what that is actually doing is giving them hope, it's giving them life, and it's giving them the confidence that they need to have the wherewithal to push a little harder and to dig a little deeper to where they want to go. If we really can't be what we can't see, I hope someone out there sees me up here today and is motivated to chase their own dream. And now, a word from our generous sponsors. It's not how Canadian you are, it's who you are in Canada. <laughs> it's not just one thing, it's all these things. And when you give people a voice, other people start listening. CBC, it's a Canada thing. It gives me incredible pleasure to invite to the stage the Actra National President, Eleanor Noble. Hi, everyone. Hello, Actra members and guests. I am so thrilled to be here today to celebrate the nominees and winners at the Actra Awards in Toronto. Being here together in person makes it even more special. And it's been a banner year for film and television production across the country, and what a great thing to celebrate in this 80th year of Actra's existence. It's because of Actra performers' professionalism and extraordinary talent that we have success across this country. And as we celebrate this success, I ask us all to keep in mind the challenge this past year has been for commercial performers. As David mentioned, this is the first year anniversary of the shameful ICA lockout of ACTRA members. Shameful. And our members are suffering. It's been 366 days, 366 days that they've locked us out. It's unconscionable. And this lockout affects all of us, whether you work under the NCA or not. We need to stand together in solidarity more than ever and care about every jurisdiction in our industry so we may continue to thrive and maintain a livelihood for the next 80 plus years. Marie Kelly and myself are here this week attending the Steelworkers Conference. And tomorrow, I will be delivering a fierce message to the steelworkers of Canada, to all of them across the country, to support our boycotts, to come and join us at our rallies, and to spread the word and help us end this lockout. And they're a fierce bunch, and they will have our back. I know it.
We know that when we fight together, we win together. And we will win, and ACTRA will be better and stronger for it. Thank you all for your continued support and solidarity with the bargaining committee. Please, we ask you to help support us by, uh, by supporting the boycott, sharing it on your social media pages, and attending any rallies you can. And we'll get through this. On behalf of our National Council, I'd like to congratulate all the nominees and winners. Enjoy the show, and thank you for having me here. Thank you. Eleanor Noble, everybody. It is such an honor to work beside you. You do amazing work. Thank you so much. You do amazing work for the entire country. And now, for the outstanding performance, gender nonconforming or female, here are the nominees. Outstanding performance, gender nonconforming or female. Raven Dowda, Five Days at Memorial. Grace Glowicki, Until Branches Bend. Christine Horn, Ashgrove. Kiana Madeira, Brother. Sheila McCarthy, Women Talking. And the Actor Award goes to Raven Dowda. I'm not leaving my mother. We are evacuating then the I'm hospital. Gonna help her. Nobody is going to help her. Look, you can either leave on your own or you'll be charged she, she with trespassing. I'm not leaving her. I don't care what happens to me. Just please let me stay with my mother. Please. So. Raven could not be here today in person to accept her award, but we've asked her to share this video. She's asked us to share this video with you. Hello, Actra Awards. Hello, everyone. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Okay, so if you're watching this, it means that I won, and that's just crazy. It's so amazing. I am so honored. Thank you um, to be nominated. The category, the women, the women in this category are phenomenal. So just to be nominated with you has been a dream and I'm in shock that I won, literally. This is just crazy. Um, and also just a thank you to the actor jurors. Um, I've been a juror in the past and so I know all that goes into it. And so I thank you for your time and your efforts in this decision making and I'm thankful. I, 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 I am just like, wow, y'all. You gave it to me. Cool. Much love. Um, okay, uh, thank you. So I only got two minutes, okay? So thank you to ABC Signature, Apple TV, um, John Ridley and Carlton Cuse for your direction, your heart, your passion. Thank you so much. Um, Sherry Fink, your writing, all of your investigative journalism, all of the information that you had um, deeply helped me to get to know Angela and create her. Um, thank you to Diane Johnstone, who played my mom. Girl, girl, we held it down. Um, working with you was an exquisite, exquisite joy. Um, thank you to all the cast and the crew. Thank you to my agent. Rich, there are no words, man. You are phenomenal. Rich Kaplan, you the man, okay? Uh, Robin Cook for the casting. God bless you. Oh, I love you. Um, and just a deep thank you to Angela McManus and Wilda. My heart is with you. Thank you for... Just for who you are. Just for who you are. And it has been such a profound honor to play you in some small way. I am forever changed. And this award will be held. I, I have a perfect place for it when I get home. Oh, you know I'm going to have some lights on that. As soon as people walk through the door, bam, they're going to see that. So thank you all. Much love. I wish I was there with you and just have the most extraordinary time, okay? God bless you all. Mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. 
please welcome to the stage John Stead. Hello. When I was asked to present the um, Actor Toronto Lifetime Achievement Stunt Award to Paul, I was immediately struck by the thought of an old school, true stunt performer. The stunt professional who risked his life to perform gags that were executed in real time with no enhancements, no CGI elements, just raw courage and, and a set. Um, Paul uh, will never um, see these kind of gags again, you know, or the performers who achieved them. Um, Paul belongs to a very, very, very select group of stunt performers, and it's a small club. Along with the first cowboys doing incredibly dangerous stunts from horseback and rooftops to today's wire gags and car stunts, Paul has rode, driven, fallen, ridden, and hit the ground through almost 40 years of stunts. And so when I first learned he was going to be honored here today, I was both thrilled and humbled, and I can't think of anyone more deserving. Paul's talents as a stunt performer are second to none. He possesses great athletic abilities coupled with physical courage. And as a stunt coordinator, he set a standard in the industry that we should strive to achieve. Paul has mentored myself and so many others on how to improve on what we do and has made us better than we ever were before. Let's take a look at some of Paul's great career achievements. So today it's my privilege and great pleasure to present the Actor Toronto Lifetime Achievement Stunt Award to my colleague and good friend, Paul Rutledge.
Still pretty, still pretty nimble for 68. <laughs> Well, thank you, John, for your kind words. You've been a good friend over the years. Thank you so much. Big respect. Well, I guess part of receiving this award is this means that you're getting a little long in the tooth. But uh, anyways, it's just a, a wonderful honor. Thank you, Actor Toronto, for honoring me with this award. It's very humbling. I know that many of you will agree that this is not why we do this. I mean, I was a young, crazy kid that just wanted to get in and do this stuff. And I didn't even think about what I was getting paid, so. But uh, it's been a wonderful life doing this. I thank God for this incredible journey I've been on. The lifelong friends and mentors that have helped me shape my career along the way. I'd like to thank Bobby Hanna, who trusted me on my first stunt job. I, uh, thank you, Bobby. Uh, yeah, it was a crazy first stunt. I just called him up. I know I was nervous as hell, and, and it was a very quick pitch. And it was just like, if you need anybody that can do anything with horses, I can do it, whatever. Just trust me. And he did. A couple weeks later, I get a call from Bobby. He says, hey, I got this job. And after that, this store opened up to this incredible film industry, and here we are now. Boy, 40 years went by pretty darn quick, so. And I think it's been an ongoing experiment to see how much the human body can withstand doing stunt work. So, I think I'm, I'm not crippled up, so good guardian angels, I think, working overtime. I'd like to thank my wife, Tess, who can't be here, unfortunately. She's, uh, thank you Tess, you're my rock. She's got five little ankle biters where uh, she can't, uh, couldn't get away with and get away from, so. Anyways, um, thank you so much for keeping my world together and uh, making everything go well. Um, you have the amazing talent of picking the right horse for the job. It's made my job easier time and time again. Thank you so much. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Dwayne McLean. I don't think he's here today, but anyways, Dwayne, you've been a mentor and a friend for the years, over the years. He's, he's just a great guy. Uh, I remember going to your rigging 101 classes a few times, and uh, simple, keep it simple, and, uh, but make it safe. So thanks, Dwayne. You're the man. Uh, I'd like to have a shout out to Allison Reed and Shelley Cook. Thank you. A big respect for you girls who have paved the way for stunt women in Canada. You're the best. Thank you. Um, I have something that I'd like to say that has kind of been near to my heart, and I heard something that Denzel Washington said, and I'll just repeat it to you here. It says, dreams without goals are just dreams, and in the end, ultimately fuel disappointment. On the road to achieving your dreams, you must apply discipline, but more importantly, consistency. Because without commitment, you'll never start. And without consistency, you'll never finish. Thank you so much. Nicely done, gentlemen, nicely done. Before we take a moment to remember the Actra Toronto members we lost in 2022, I would like to acknowledge Gordon Pinsent, who recently passed away in February, almost 20 years to the day when Gordon was honored as Actra Toronto's first ever Award of Excellence recipient. Gordon Pinsent was a titan of the Canadian arts community, and he will be included in the 2023 In Memoriam. We missed you, kind sir.
Thank you. We know that your memory will live on in your work. All right, and now for the award for outstanding performance, gender non-conforming or male, here are the nominees. Outstanding Performance, Gender Non-Conforming or Male Constant Bernard, Rosie Jonas Chernick, Ashgrove Adolin H. Dar, Daisy Standard Time Travel Araya Mangesha, Revenge of the Black Best Friend Eric Peterson, Junior's Giant And the actor award goes to Eric Peterson. Lovely Junior. Now the line. Hi. 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 I don't know why I'm here. Oh gosh, this is... I don't want to say that line from the movie that we just saw, but I, I kind of feel that way. I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> You can't act anything good unless it's written good. In all my many years of acting, I realized that you can only be as good, or you can be really good, only really good if you got a, a great script and a great writer. Otherwise, you're just trying to make things up and do the best you can. And uh, they, they don't turn out so well. I know I'm all about that too. I have a very large turkey ranch. Uh, <clears throat> so, I, having said that, I, I, you know, I had two days of shooting, that to, it's a short film, and I had two days of shooting, so I actually did the least amount of work on this, uh, on this project than anyone, and here I am up here with this wonderful statue. So I'd like uh, Deb McGrath to stand up. And this, De Deb, if you could just stay standing, De just stay standing for a minute, Deb. I love bossing people around. Deb he wrote a wonderful script about her father, Junior, and this was the, the, the this is this is why it was such a wonderful piece to work on, and one of wonderful piece to do. It's uh, and it, it's testimony to how you take experiences in your life if you're an artist of like Deb, and you turn into a piece of art, a piece of beauty, a piece of magic and mystery. And it was a wonderful script, and that, that's, that's the reason this is, that I'm standing here today. And now I have to have another somebody else here. Okay, yeah, Paula, Paula Brincati. Come on, you gotta stand up too, for God's sake. Paula directed it. And she was wonderful being, doing the shooting of it, and, and it was just wonderful to work with her. And, and she did a wonderful job making this little film, the wonderful little gem that it is. And there's, um, I, I would like to also, uh, Kinley, I'd like to s say a few words about Kinley too, who was Junior's grandchild, and was in the movie with me, Kinley Mockery. She was wonderful in it. Yes, yes, let's do it. Whoa, that's for Kinley. Anyway, I'd, I'd like to thank all of those people. I'd like to thank Actra, and it's been a wonderful being here today at, at this. I'm thrilled with this award and thrilled to get it, and thank you very much. Uh, and now, are we ready for the final award of the evening, folks? This is, the members, this is the Members Choice Series Ensemble Award presented by AFBS. Thank you, AFBS. 
And here are the nominees. Members Choice Series Ensemble, presented by AFBS. Murdoch Mysteries. Pink is in. Pretty Hard Cases. Sort of. Tokens. The Actra Award goes to, sort of. That's what I want. My family and friends, and I want that uncomplicated Rachel McAdams love. Accepting on behalf of the cast members, Alora Patnaik, Gray Powell, and Sapinda Raich. I'm trying to get Gray up here because it is an ensemble, oh. and so we are an ensemble. So, wow! Thank you so much. Um, we uh, sort of is what can I say? It's an act of love. It's a project of passion. Um, it's been quite the journey. We um, like to thank Bilal Beg and and Fab Filippo for being our wonderful <laughs> captains and leaders of crime and uh, we have such a wonderful an ensemble just doesn't mean cast I used to think it was just cast but it's it's everybody across the board the crew and and everybody feels so positive about the project and I think uh, for us the, the writing and uh, this amazing cast and crew they just work together it's great chemistry and I think one of the main thing is is to remember that you know it's it's not really about one thing. We all come down to the conclusion that we're all in transition and we're all going through change and progressing to a better place for ourselves and, and the world. So um, thank you so, so very much for this. Fear Media, CBC Gem. Am I missing anybody? Come on, you guys help me out here. Just because I'm the mom, they're putting it on me. I mean, come on, get over well, here. Yeah, I think, I think it starts from the top down, and, and Bilal and Fab created this, um, and it's beautiful. The writing is always the first thing, and uh, it goes everywhere from even just what we see on set, Bilal and uh, Fab, and I, I believe it's actor, City of Toronto, we have uh, intern programs for trans and non-binary folk to be visible on set. It's, 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 it's the heart of the show, so thank you. Thank you very yes, much thank for recognizing you. that. I will just say one last thing about how important it is for actors to create our own work, tell our own stories, and I know there's a bunch of us here in the audience that do just that, so yes. thank you. Uh, thank you for this. Thank you, Actra. Thank you so much. You're all family. We're all family. Thank you. The cast of Sort Of. Oh, standing on the stage. The same stage that Ella Fitzgerald stood at, and Artie Shaw, and all these Canadian stars. <laughs> Manifest your destiny, right, Samora? <laughs> well, that's it. Thank you so much for joining us today to celebrate the outstanding performances and career achievements of exceptional Actra, to form, Actra Toronto members. Congratulations again to our nominees, winners, uh, special award recipients, and a reminder, if you have an Actra Award in your hand and you didn't win it, please give it back to the award winner. We want to take their picture. So we have uh, uh, volunteers who will escort you to the photo room. A special thanks to the Actra Award nominee, Louisa Zhu, the other announcer you heard here today. Great job. And a shout out to our jurors who watched, judged, and awarded. And finally, thank you. And a finally, a, uh, a, a, finally, a huge thank you to the sponsors, including our diamond sponsor, AFBS, for helping us make this special day happen. We could not do it literally without your support, sir. So please stay tuned for the awards video. will be posted online soon. 
And don't forget to follow us on social at Actra Toronto. And everyone else, we will see you next time. Stay safe. Thank you so much.